Mr. Todd, will you testify that slavery has either been abolished or there may have vestiges of slavery? Could you tell us when, how were the, the masses of these slaves, when were they emancipated? Was there some public pronouncement in the international press? And were they international observers? And where did they go and how were their former slave masters compensated? Uh, Mr. Congressman, there are probably three specific references to the ending of the institution of slavery in Mauritania in recent years. One is their own constitution at the, the time of independence from France in 1960. The next year, Mauritania adhered to the United Nations Conventions concerning slavery and human rights. The most recent public statement was the July 5, 1980 proclamation of manumission by President Haidala in Nouakchott, uh, Mauritania. Mr. Chadwell, segregation has been ended in the United States many years ago by proclamation, but there are still vestiges of it. Are you prepared to represent, as a representative of the State Department, that the that slavery no longer exists in Mauritania, and simply because there were some high-sounding proclamations that there are no one being held in slavery in that country? Uh, I'm prepared to cite, Mr. Congressman, as, uh, as I did a few minutes ago, the language of our human rights report that was issued to the Congress last week, in which we talk about the continuation of instances in the tens of thousands of servitude and near servitude. However, we make the additional point that we have not seen evidence of the buying or selling of human beings and the practice of chattel slavery in Mauritania in 1995 or indeed in recent years. But aren't you in fact double speaking if you say that there are vestiges of slavery, but we haven't seen evidence of the exchange of, of people for some kind of uh, money or being treated as uh, we're calling them here chattel. The question I have to ask is, is the State Department making a statement that slavery does not exist in Mauritania? Uh, when I say vestiges of slavery, Congressman, I am talking about servitude and semi-servitude. I don't think that is slavery itself. I think that's a vestige of slavery. It and is we not playing with words? Sold. Uh, isn't this just a fancy way of saying that the State Department will not go out in the limb and say that there is no slavery in Mauritania, but perhaps there are people who work and don't get paid against their will? Uh, I think that there are people who work and do not get paid. I think there are people who work for well under the uh, government's indicated minimum wage. Uh, I call that servitude. I don't call that buying and selling human beings. Just one last as the question. Chairman, as the chairman mentioned in his opening statement, there is a distinction between servitude and contract labor and chattel slavery. Just one, just one last question. Have you been to Mauritania? I've spent three years there, 1988 to 91, Chief of Mission. Are you, based on your time you've spent there, can you say today that slavery does not exist in Mauritania today? Forget what all you've read, what you've told me has been written. Does slavery exist in Mauritania? I would uh, feel very uncomfortable saying, as a certainty, that slavery does not exist. It is a vast country. There are parts of it that until the droughts of the mid-70s and 80s were totally out of the reach of the, of the capital, I think it is very conceivable that the practice of slavery exists, continues to exist in very remote parts of that vast desert country. Is the United States doing anything to encourage that country to abolish slavery? Yes, we are, sir. Thank you.